guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and I love to dance. So, last time we worked on a Suzy Q and just kind of figured out what that was. I'm hoping to add more to my kind of library of jazz steps to work on. Um, but for now, I just wanted to give you a little bit of something else. And since I don't have a partner here tonight, I figured it would be a good night to work on swivels. If you have just learned to swing out, or if you're kind of new to it, and you don't really know what's going on, I would advise you to stop the video right now um, and keep working on the swing outs because a lot of people try to throw in swivels way too quickly um, and it just ends up causing problems because it messes with the basic steps. And you want to get the basic steps down first, then you add the styling. So for those of you that haven't dancing for a while, keep watching. I hope this is helpful. So we have step, swivel, step, swivel, step. I guess it's more like a pivot, so step, pivot, step, pivot, step, pivot, step, pivot, step. Kind of like that. So it's just essentially this movement with your feet. Your toes are going to be facing this, pointing the same direction. None of this, that looks cool, but it's not a swivel. <laughs> so be careful, we want our toes facing the same way. So like 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Step. Step, 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 step. And I'm just bending my knees to make it easier to emphasize the beat. You don't have to do that when you actually swing out. What makes a swivel particularly challenging, and also the reason why it tends to throw off new lady hoppers, um, is that all the movement from a swivel is coming from right here, in my hips, and a little bit to my knees, to my extent. A lot of new beginners will sit here and twist like this, so that like it's a chest motion, kind of like that. What we really, really want to do is to keep our shoulders about as parallel and square as possible, right? Because if you think of this in terms of a swing out, we want to be square to our partner, right? If we weren't doing swivels, we would still want to be square on. So even when we do, even when we stylize, when we add in the fancy stuff, we still have to do the basic frame correctly which is why it throws off so many new beginners, because we don't want to move the shoulders. We gotta keep the frame nice and parallel. So, all the movement essentially is coming from the hips, like this. In this next step, we're gonna drill the swivel and get really comfortable with this whole keeping the shoulders parallel kind of motion. In this case, it's really nice to have a bar here because it's something that we can hold on to, essentially forces us to keep our frame while we practice, like this. Obviously, if you don't have a bar at home, um, I've heard that a chair, like the back of a chair, if you hold on to that, that also works. Um, a towel rack, I've heard even a doorknob works. So if you have a house, <laughs> you can practice doing swivels with something to hold on to. In this case, we've got a bar, which is great. So it's good, just hang on and just practice swivels. Make sure they're coming from your hips and not from any of this kind of motion, we don't want any shoulder movement if we can really avoid it. It's also good to practice in socks or some kind of slippery shoes so that you can really focus on this and not really what your feet are doing. Because if your feet stick to the floor, well, that just makes things more complicated. I learned this step from Naomi, who is Peter Strom's partner up in Minneapolis. So, learning tips from the pros here. <laughs> I definitely found it very handy. And if you're doing this right, um, ideally your oblique muscles right here, as well as some of your inner thigh muscles, will be a little bit achy and sore. That's how you know that you're doing it right, essentially, after about five minutes of, of enough swivels. But if you just do a little bit of this all the time, it'll start to feel a lot more natural. The swivel essentially is going to start on a seven and a half beat. So you're going to go like seven and eight, and then your swivel, roughly one, two, like that. So let's bring it down really slow. I'll do a couple of little swing outs first, and then we'll start to throw in swivels. Again, it'll be on seven and a half, kind of as when your swivels are roughly going to start. So you have rock, step, triple step, 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 triple step. There was one swing out. Now I'll count and I'll do it with a swivel. So we have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we have seven and eight. Seven and eight. Seven and eight. One, two. So just try that a few times. We go seven and eight. One, two. Ready? Go. Seven and eight. One, two. Ready? 
ready, go. Seven and eight. One, two. Woo, forget my feet. <laughs> really sick. Okay, so that's basically where the swivel fits into the swing out. Now, this is where things start to go wrong. We have one, two, triple step, five, six, seven. We've got our lead by this hand, right? So we're hanging on here. We just came around like this, kind of in this position. This hand is free now. We're holding on with this hand. Um, it's kind of our inclination to go out. And this is where we tend to break frame and get in trouble. I definitely struggle with this. So we tend to go like rock, step, triple step, 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 seven, and eight. And all of a sudden we're out here. Now if we were facing this way, the swivel would be beautiful because our feet <laughs> would be nice and parallel. But unfortunately we're hanging on here. This is not right. It's easy enough to recover, but we don't want to end up in that circumstance in the first place because then it detracts from the motion and the momentum of the swing out. So, we should really, really work on having a nice clean swing out where we end up here, if our partner's like right in front of us, so that when we go um, rock, step, triple step, 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 triple step, 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 so that all of this is kind of in the same plane. So that's swivels for you. They are a little bit tricky, and again, way easier when you've been dancing for a little bit and you're really, really comfortable with the steps of the normal swing out. But they also look super, super cool and smooth. Um, and also when you're dancing fast songs, they help, um, you know, eliminate some of the kind of minute fo footwork that doesn't make a whole lot of difference. So, watch this again, practice. Practice with a bar or chair or something like that. And enjoy. Happy dancing.